Hello everyone, Metro Collectibles back here doing a quick pickups video. We attended the uh, Charlotte card show that's run by a CLT card guy. Uh, first time I've attended the show since we moved down here. It might be the first time I've had the show since I moved down here. Maybe maybe one other that we didn't make, but the show was on Saturday. It was a good show. Uh, quite a few vendors, a lot of vintage stuff. So um, some was priced okay, some was not priced okay. <laughs> So uh, I did was able to make a few deals. So show you guys the pickups. As always, you guys like the videos. Give us a follow, give us a like. Mad for collectibles on all the platforms. Let's get into it. So it's been a little over a thousand bucks. First thing I bought actually was, I'm not, I'm not even sure why I bought this, but my youngest loves Pokemon cards. And I had a guy in a box of Pokemon cards, a box like this, and a bunch of cards in it. And he said the cards are kind of priced everywhere. So my youngest was going through picking out cards. I asked him if he wanted to sell the whole box. So I bought the whole box for 200 bucks. There's a little over 200 cards. I, I paid about a dollar a card, but you can see a couple of Charizard GXs. I don't know much about this stuff, but like the VMAX and stuff are usually worth five, 10 bucks, depending on who they are. He said he ripped all this stuff himself. And there's always concern about these things being fake. I did do the flashlight tests and they all passed that, so I don't know. I think they're I think they're real. Not 100 percent certain. Bunch of Emaxes. Um, there's rainbow rares in here. They're just some of them are V's and some of those are cheaper. Some Japanese ones. And those are cool Japanese Charizard. I asked him what the Charizards were. He said they were each 10 or 15 bucks a piece. What he was going to sell them for so i got them all for about a buck a piece some energies here that aren't really worth much so i ended up selling some of these i'm sure i'll end up i already gave a few to, to connor he wanted a couple of them so he's probably he's partly used as a uh, rewards for good behavior and things a bunch of japanese emaxes in here some rainbow rares there so pretty cool just random oh, those are backwards Random Pokemon cards, but seem to be a lot of uh, a lot of the Hollows and V Maxes, and so for a buck a piece, I just bought. Them. And again, if they're I find out some of them aren't aren't legitimate, I'll give them a Connor's to put in his boxes. He doesn't. He just keeps them anyways. But I do think they're all real. I, I think uh, I don't know. So anyway, a whole bunch of those, about 200 Pokemon cards, 200 bucks. Um, this is actually the last deal of the day I made. So I was walking out, got these three Mickey, or four Mickey Mantles for 200 bucks. So this is your, I think this is 61 post. Yep, 61 post. Mantle, this is the Jello, 63 Jello Mantle. This is the 60. Two post. This one's pretty creased up. And a 1969 raw. Um, so this is probably worth about 200 bucks on its own. So I'll get this graded. It looks like it's it's kind of faded, but probably a two or a three. So I figured all four of those for 200 bucks a pretty good deal. Man, I'll move so quick. I'll be able to get these. I don't know if I'll grade this one, but grade the others. This one's kind of got a bad cut up top. But I typically always grade mantles, so got those four for 200 bucks. Uh, these last two purchases were all of the same gentleman, somebody I bought from and traded with before. This first lot here I paid five, 540 for. Okay, 56 Bob Feller. Pretty good condition there. He had stickers on in the back, 75 bucks there, but I paid quite a bit less than that. Uh, the Reggie Jackson rookie. This is just a low grade example there, probably a three or so. The Henderson rookie, again, probably this is more mid grade, I would say, probably five or six, a little off center. Got a 55 K line, second year. Pretty good shape. This is a beat up Aaron, pretty creased up, but uh, presents well otherwise. So. And then I got a 66 tops PSA 4 Willie Mays. Can you get 100 on that one? I think I, I think I valued that at around 80 is what I paid. 
Just another cheap Hank Aaron here, 1970 Tops PSA 5. And then the same Mano again, 1969 Tops Mano in yellow. And he had 200 in this one. I think I got this for around 150 in the deal. So, again, these uh, a couple bigger ones there, but 560 for the, this lot of cards here. Eight cards. Your bigger ones were obviously the Mantle, probably the biggest card. The Jackson was, was about a $100 card. And then some of these other ones, they're all 50 to 75 bucks. So not too bad there. I forget what the stickers added. He added them up. 345, 350, 420, 495, 570, 590. This 690, I got it for 540. So about 150 bucks off his of stickers. Some of this looks really high, but uh, I'll probably grade the Jackson. Uh, I'll probably grade the K-Line. And maybe even the feller, depending on how it looks. Try to capitalize on a few uh, a few of those by getting some grading done. Last deal is another deal from, from the same gentleman. 200 bucks for these three. So you had 1950 Bowman Elroy Hirsch. He had 130 on that one. That's close to what it's going for. It's between 100 and 130 bucks. So there's that one. Uh, the Dip, Dick Buckus 1969 Tops, five and a half. He had 65 on that one. And then YA Tittle, he uh, he had this one. There was no price. He said fifty bucks. This one I think is actually worth a little more than fifty bucks. I think it's probably more like sixty to seventy. So again, it's about two hundred fifty dollars he had on these three. I got them for two hundred. So uh, not not terrible there. And that is it. So quick pickups. Spend a quick again. I think it was eleven hundred. And eleven hundred bucks I spent at the show. Um, did, didn't take any cards with me to trade or, or sell. Just went there to buy. Found some good deals. I had the kids with me, so didn't get to look as much as I would have liked. I kind of rushed around because they were excited, and <laughs> my, mainly my my seven year old wanted to buy every Pokemon card in the in the entire place. So he he bought a bunch of stuff. My oldest son Ethan didn't really buy as much. I think he only bought one or two cards. I ended up. As part of this deal, I gave him a twenty dollar card out of this deal. It was a fifty six tops uh, mini Minoso that he likes. So I, I gave him that, so I actually paid five sixty with that included here. But I gave him that card. So as always, if you guys like the videos, give us a follow, give us a like, all the platforms, and we will talk to you guys next time.